Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Appraising in the Time of a Pandemic, and this is our additional um, webinar with some updates and some Q&A um, based on some questions from um, some folks out there that we wanted to get through. Um, the, uh, there is actually nobody else on the call except me, so I'm just going to run through some of these slides and go through some of the information that I have. Today is March 30th, Monday, March 30th. So um, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon, and so everything is based on that time frame. Um, things change quickly um, in the time of a pandemic, so you will, some of this might be out of date by the time you get it. Um, but we hope that at least there'll be some guidance for you and we can answer some of your questions. Um, like everybody else, I am working from home. And so uh, if there are any additional noises or something out there, you understand that. Um, but uh, anyhow, running through this, let's talk about some of the updates, things going on right now. So as I said, effective uh, March 30th. Right now, there are 745,308 confirmed uh, coronavirus COVID-19 cases worldwide. I think that was uh, as of about an hour ago. And um, let me tell you that when I first offered this webinar last week, um, there were 349,807 cases. Um, worldwide. So we have grown. Um, there are a lot more cases and most of those, as you know, are in the United States. So currently there are 147,465,000 confirmed cases in the United States. And New York, um, particularly New York State, particularly New York, is really has emerged as the epicenter and the center of crisis right now um, for this virus with 59,513 uh, infections right now. So what else has happened? What, what, what have we got out there right now that, that is impacting this? Um, there is a growing number of state and local stay-home orders. Um, and as of Yesterday, President Trump extended the social distancing guidelines to April 30th. Um, most people probably in the United States are now on a stay-at-home order. Um, only designated essential workers are able to travel to their places of work. Um, most jurisdictions and localities, um, state, cities, are permitting appraisers as essential workers. and. Uh, I actually have, um, and I think it's later in the slide, a, um, um, a link to the Appraisal Institute that actually has listed all those to give you some kind of idea of where they are. If you do have um, any questions on whether you are considered an essential worker, um, either go to the Appraisal Institute website or um, contact your state regulator. Um, as probably most people know, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac issued temporary restrictions um, allowing exterior and desktop appraisals under certain circumstances. And then um, the Appraisal Foundation issued a Q&A that really um, specifies that, um, that obviously there is no requirement for um, a personal inspection on an appraisal report and allowing for modifications to the scope of work um, and certifications and limiting conditions on a on, on, on a form report. Um, as of this weekend, um, there was a $2 trillion stimulus bill was passed, um, extends unemployment, helps large and small businesses and provides a one-time payment for most Americans. It does a lot of other things too. Um, so massive, massive stimulus package to try and get the economic situation in this country working. Um, as of the 27th of March, FHA issued a mortgagee letter 2020-05. And we will go through that and uh, talk about that a little bit more. Um, that is the latest in these modifications that permit 
um, exterior only or desktop only appraisal reports. So mortgagee letter 2020-05. Basically FHA, uh, and this is somewhat surprising really, um, is providing flexibilities for an exterior only or desktop only appraisal. Um, and uh, the in doing so, the appraiser may rely on supplemental information um, from other reliable sources, perhaps that's MLS or um, tax records. Um, additionally, and this is the same with Fannie and Freddie, um, the appraiser may rely on information that is actually provided by an interested party. And um, you may not be able to verify that information, but in doing so, if you are relying on that, um, then um, you have to provide additional disclosure in the appraisal report. Um, the exterior only and desktop only appraisal options must continue must continue to be reported on current FHA reports um, with the amended certifications and scope of work. So much the same as Fannie and Freddie, there are these modifications, one in particular for the exterior and one for the desktop that you will have to put into your appraisal report as a cut and paste. Um, a little bit different from Fannie and Freddie, um, FHA does not have any um, allowance for an exterior, uh, a Fannie Mae 2055 or 1075, they simply will not go into the FHA EAD portal. So. Um, Exteriors and desktops will be reported on a 1004 if they're a single family, on the 1073 if they are a condo, uh, 1004 if, um, if they are a manufactured home, or 1025 if they're two to four family. Um, the appraisal report must include a signed certification indicating whether the appraiser did or did not uh, personally inspect the property. And again, they do provide these model certifications. Um, and scope of work for both the exterior only or the desktop. A um, little bit different from uh, Fannie and Freddie, they will permit a borrower to have a to provide a signed letter that um, work on a final inspection is completed with some kind of evidence, um, photographs, invoices, certification of um, occupation certifications, that kind of thing. So there are some little differences. Um, also on FHA, again, that kind of little reference on the map reference, exterior or desktop, exactly the same as Fannie and Freddie are, are acquiring on that. So any questions, let me know on that. Um, but it's pretty easy to get to that mortgagee letter on the appraiser page of HUD, and you should be able to find it. So let's get to some of these questions we've had, and we'll update this maybe at the end of the week and, and, and go from there. Um, so the first question, this is very common that I'm getting, is my state has a stay-at-home order in place. Can I continue to appraise? Like everything else, it's a depends answer. I have a link here um, to the Appraisal Institute, and uh, they kind of have all the list of all the orders. Um, they um, do state specific states that actually call out appraisers as essential um, businesses. So, for example, I'm sitting in um, Columbus, Ohio, and Ohio actually does um, name an appraiser as part of the financial institutions. Um, it is typical, and most times um, we are named as an essential business. So, you may continue with work typically, and uh, what we have found in the last week that most appraisers are. Um, what do you do? The borrower does not want me to enter their home. What should I do? Um, tell your either your AMC or your lender, your client, and they will make the option perhaps to do an exterior only or a desktop. So don't force anybody to let you in. Um, be wary of, of people and know that there are alternatives. You don't have to always make an interior inspection under the changes that um, the temporary changes that Fannie, Freddie, FHA are making. So let me go back to that FHA one. There's something that I, I wanted to state in there that any FHA appraisal under this modification has to be done 
as is unless there is something that you see on the exterior when doing an exterior um, that does not meet minimum property standards so you're looking at the exterior on an exterior only and you see that the paint's peeling then perhaps you will call out the paint but otherwise um, if you don't see anything or you're doing a desktop it has to be done as is so I just wanted to add that in there so next question what type of disclosures if any should I be placing in my report well again that depends we we did um, provide a um, a copy of a disclosure for you um, that you may uh, want to amend or change and add in there it really depends um, this is one of those kind of really difficult times we have as appraisers we deal with we look in our rearview mirror we, we use historical data but we know that as of March 30th that we have a virus that is um, causing not only health issues but economic issues in our communities we know that there are things happening um, we know that people probably may people are losing their jobs we know the stock market's in crisis we know that there are huge um, bailouts that are coming um, but we we may not have data we may not have specific data that that would kind of point in any direction so we're, we're like detectives at this point we're trying to figure out where we're going to go so here we go that we you know what are we going to look at well we might look at listings we may look at how long properties are sitting on the market one of the things that I find really interesting right now is that inventory levels are still very low people do not want to sell their houses now with that demand may be low too so what are we doing you know what happens to prices in that case I think it's very very important that we we talk to market participants we talk to realtors and we talk to buyers and sellers and try to understand what is going but I I do think that there has to be something in your appraisal report that says you know put my hand up right now it is March 30th there is a um, pandemic um, that is impacting the economy and you know my report is good as, as good as the data but but here you know I need to say this is what's going on so um, I do think it's a good idea but be careful of not making assumptions that you can't back up so something that, that with that I, I got an email from one of our um, appraisers and I, I'm just going to read it because I think it is important um, he says I've seen several firms and individuals discussing adding this or similar comments to their reports my feeling is that as an appraiser I only note what I see in terms of the market why don't we wait until we can see an impact before we make assumptions some markets may not see the, the same impact it makes no sense to me to make a, an assumption just because we think something may or may not happen let's wait and see what the market indicates and then make comments or assumptions noting why we believe the market is moving or one way on or another and I think he's absolutely right I do think that we should not we should be very careful of making unsupported assumptions um, we should be very careful of of making predictions um, we're not in the business of looking into um, you know into a crystal ball and trying to figure out what's going on yes we tend to kind of we're probably somewhat shaped by by what happened in the Great Recession but we don't know right now <laughs> it literally is days um, days that we have days worth of data that we have right now I do think though that you have to put a mark on your appraisal that states that your appraisal was carried out during a pandemic um, and you may want to say I don't have any data to show you know what is going on but I do know as of this effective date there is a pandemic um, that may have impacted the scope of work of my appraisal um, it may be impacting data but I don't have enough data yet to formulate an opinion about that so um, I think that this appraiser makes a very good point 
Um, but I do think that, that, that it's a good idea to call it to, to your attention. I think it, it is very important to say that you were doing this appraisal, the effective date of it was March 30th or whatever the date was, and that there was a pandemic um, at the time. And I think it kind of points that, that line in the sand. So I've had appraisers who want to know what an extraordinary assumption is. And it becomes very important when you are um, when you start to do exterior only or desktop appraisals. Um, basically, an, an extraordinary assumption is something that if it was, it, it's something that you're going to an assumption you're going to make in your appraisal report. And if it was found to be false or incorrect, um, it would change the 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 um, accuracy of your report. So you would say, I'm making an interior inspection and I think the interior um, is um, in C3 condition, um, you know, based on what the exterior is. Well, that's an assumption you don't know. Uh, you, you haven't physically gone inside the property to inspect it. Um, or perhaps you're doing a desktop and you've been provided with some photos. It looks to be in C3 condition. But you know, they, they dole those things up and make them look really nice. It may not really be in that. So it really is a, a way for you to be able to say, hey, if this, is file, if, if this is found to be incorrect, all bets are off. You can't rely on my appraisal report. This is where USPAP is your friend, that you have that extraordinary assumption. So. Another question I've got um, over the last few days, uh, are we in a recession? Well, I'm not an economist, I, I, and I don't work for the Fed. I don't know the answer. I, I'm, I'm not, someone way above my pay grade would say, be able to provide this answer. I just know that there are a lot of talking heads who are saying, we are in a recession. But it is an incredibly quick fall into that recession. Um, this this thing is moving so quickly that uh, nobody would have believed that we were in this we would be in this situation. I think 30 days ago. So uh, we have um, very high unemployment right now um, and rising unemployment. We have um, not only that a lot of people not working or working under different situations. We have um, many 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 businesses that are closed and are not likely to open um, for at least 30 days, if not more. Um, it is extremely hard to keep an economy going healthily under those situations. There is no travel industry. There is no, um, there's no, no restaurant industry. There's no entertainment. There is, uh, people are not buying things. There is no retail. Um, we have acres of commercial space that is sitting empty um, because people are either working at home or they're not using those or, or utilizing those. Um, that is not the sign of a healthy economy. And so, um, yes, and by that, that, that sign, yes, we would be in a recession. Um, how long that lasts, I have no idea. And uh, how long it's going to take and, and the kind of impact on, on of, of this, I don't know. But um, I think that it is a good time for us to um, tighten our belts and, uh, you know, make a bit of money. Most of us are fairly busy um, and uh, kind of weather it out and see how it goes and stay healthy. That's probably one of the most important things. Um, again, I'm related to that. What can I expect from property values? I don't know. Um, I, I, I said it's kind of odd right now because you got limited inventory and, um, you know, but you got limited demand. So I'm not quite sure what happens there. I know that we have vast areas of vacant commercial properties. Um, and I don't know what will happen to rents and I don't know what will happen to values. But uh, we, we certainly that it, it, it isn't a scenario in which I see values or rents going up. Um, but we will have to see how those go in the future, and then how 
what kind of um, how long it goes and how long it will take for us to recover because we will recover it's just how long it takes our inventory levels up <laughs> um, not in residential no they're not people do not want to sell their home um, under this kind of circumstance there may be some existing properties that may be sitting empty um, but um, there is still some construction going on, so that is um, causing some inventory levels, but uh, really um, it, it certainly isn't up. It, it, it may be stable or probably descending. Very important question I have. Um, I'm an older appraiser. How can I continue to earn a living? Well, I think that's a very valid, valid question. Um, first of all, um, take all precautions that you need to take. Be very wary of entering properties. Um, be safe. That's the most important thing. But I think that um, the GSEs and, and FHA has allowed appraisers to be able to continue to make a living without jeopardizing their health. I think the fact that they can do exterior only or desktop appraisals is, is great. That's wonderful. And, and I think... Um, I don't think it's going to diminish our capability of being able to provide accurate valuation. So I think, yes, you can continue to make a living, um, and you can do that without compromising your health, and I sincerely hope so. So I wanted to do this quick, um, this quick uh, webinar just to kind of give you an update and answer a few questions. Um, here is my contact information. I will try and do this again at the end of the week. We'll send this out. And um, I wish everyone the best of health. Um, be safe. And uh, good luck out there. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.